Hello. Hello. So, as you can see, some of the code for my model changed. I'll explain it in a sec, and I'll explain what was wrong with what we did. So, first of all, you do need to play around with this a bit. A little bit. Okay? Because it's, it's hard to make it turn out how you want it to turn out. If you make a model where it doesn't really matter, like um, a few days ago I made a bear model, right? And like the ears didn't really need to be like exactly where they were, and the and the um, paws didn't need to be exactly where they were, right? And the nose, like their sizes didn't really matter as long as they were there. But for for things like this, it does need to be a little bit exact. So I played around with it a bit. I noticed that the base of the horn, you know, the the blue part, this was fine. So I just left it as it is. Remember how we did it divide by two? Well, I divide by three worked out perfectly. This is just by trial and error, guys. Um, this here, the right shoulder, I divided, um, divide both by 1.2. It looks fine. So, this is how, how I did it. Um, you're gonna have to play with yours a bit. Um, this is this is how I figured out how to use it, and you just play with until it looks as close as possible as it does to the one in Technet. And we're going to fix up the texture a little tiny bit um, before we finish up here. So let's go into the model um, right here. So I noticed that this here, um, you know where I put the the horn texture and stuff on the off to the right of the texture? Well, that's the place where apparently the headwear is. But we don't have headwear in, um, the mo mo in model biped, the one in Tecne. Um, doesn't have a headwear, so they, it just it's just taken out. So I made this false automatically. So no matter what, it's gonna be the headwear is gonna be false, and it fixed that. Okay, so save that. This is gonna be false no matter what. And let's see our model, and then we're gonna fix a few other things. But and this is the episode where we finish everything. Eh? Okay, and you'll see how it looks. It looks as close as we can get to the Tecne. Um, there are very few times where you will get exactly how you want it to look, but this is the closest we can get, and I think it looks fine. Alright, so don't be sad that it doesn't look the same. Um, just tweak with it a little bit, keep the model simple, right? And have an overall look for it. Don't have um, a very specific thing you want because you might not be able to get that and there and you could do very specific things you just need to you know rotate things here and there and figure out what does things here and there and hopefully I've done um, a good job in showing you what things do and I'll, and I'll go over it again um, this video because I know last video was a little bit like oh oh my god everything's messed up um, this video will go over exactly what I was thinking and yeah and this video will fix everything up and I'll show you a few glitches that I got so mad so mad when I happen to me. So here's how the model looks like. How great does that look? It looks exactly how we made it to be, remember? I made the horn size smaller, but I think the shoulders, I want the shoulders um, to be a little bit like lower. I mean h higher, you know? Because we, because notice how it covers up the entire, um, it covers up all of the of the green armor right so we're gonna fix it up and now to see the glitches with this so let's go into game mode one um what was i gonna do oh yeah e oops okay we're gonna go into this i'm gonna gonna go uh boo -boo 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 -boo. um sword i'm gonna take out the sword and we're gonna take out a bow I'm gonna take some arrows, it's just so you can see how mad this can get you. All right, so bow. See how it kind of. See how it doesn't follow you along. Let's take out the sword. You see how it doesn't rotate with your arm? How annoying is that? All right, now let's even. Here's the worst part. Block. Look. What the actual hell? right right you don't who wants this this is horrible 
here's oh my god here's my opinion about this okay like why the hell do we add these things as childs if they're not gonna follow along look what is this i want what when would i not want the armor to follow the arm the thing that i ch made the child of why would i ever not want that the, the child to follow the parent why right oh my goodness so annoying okay even worse look at this it look oh my god like what is this oh my god this gets me so angry okay <laughs> let's fix all this stuff first we're gonna <laughs> the, i'm done with the ranting don't worry all right so first we're gonna just fix up a few things here and there just just for good measure so close this mofo um let's open this Boom, 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 boom. Open up GIMP. We're going to fix all that stuff. All that stuff. And I'm going to explain exactly how it works. While GIMP is opening. Uh, no. Nah, I'll, I'll talk about the model custom armor in a second. Just so you know how things work. Okay. So. We're going to go in here. We're going to go and open our... What are we going to open? Um, we're just I'm gonna just kind of wing it and hope it works out right all right so hmm. let's where is it uh, da, 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 my grab modeling assets oops not wrong one oops oh god oh my goodness okay uh, that's what I want assets assets uh, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. uh, let's just take this one uh, oh man wrong one wrong one oops close this guy open uh, 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 this one, right, okay, so, first I want to get rid of that bottom part, right, so we're going to just make this a bit small, hard edge, okay, so, you know how the bottom was blocking the, the, the arm, well, let's take this out, so it's one, two, three, four, five, this is going to be the bottom, if I can remember, take this off, and then we're going to just lower this by, two pixels so we can see the arm that's it that's all I wanted to change done close this close this and delete this and we're gonna add it back in uh, there you go that's better being good to boom when I walk in I'm the king in the room if you don't like Waxy Watsky Oh god. Okay, so a few things we need to worry about. And I didn't show this one. Um you do need to make sure that um you tell the armor model what your character is doing so it could adjust your model for it. Right? This is what Minecraft does as well, but we have to do it too. So there's a few things that we need to adjust. So armor model dot is sneak. Now, if it's sneaking, it would have messed up too. Everything would have messed up. You would have been like, shit. Well, fuck. Okay? Um, and so we need to we need to make sure we check the sneak. And that's why we have Entity Living, right? This is what we can do. We can just, boom. Is sneaking? Sure. Easy. Done. Okay? Then, we also need to do it for riding. Because riding would mess up if we didn't do that. So, these are the easy ones. I don't know what this one is for. Um, I think it's uh, just checking if... Uh, actually, let's check right now what it is. I, um, okay, it's, it's just it's this for animals. I don't know why we need this, but I guess if animals um, wear your stuff... Now I remember. I looked at that for sure. Okay. Um, now we need to fix. You know how when we held the item in the right hand, it wasn't working. Well, we need to make sure. Um, this is the. This is what we need to change. This is how it works. Okay. Basically, Minecraft rotates its um, its arm with a factor of this. So, for example, if this is zero, the arm is going to be 
like laid down on the ground, not on the ground, on the, it's going to be just laid down. It's going to be f um, to its side fully. One, it's going to be slightly up. And one is what the Minecraft character does when he is just holding an item but not using anything. Okay? That's the factor it is. Alright? So zero, it's it's straight down. One times the it times the rotation, um, the times another factor makes it rotate by a tiny bit, right? And then there's an extra one, three, and this rotates it up by um so it has an angle and it times it by three. And this is how this is where the sword is um, defending you. Okay? So three is defensive. This is just holding a regular item. Zero is nothing. This is down on its side. Alright? So that's we need to just in, make that zero for now and we'll change that in a second according to whatever it's wh whatever the player's doing. The other thing we need to do is the bow, right? The bow has a totally different has totally different stuff. So we're gonna initialize the bow as being equal to false. Okay. There we go. So um, we're gonna just take the player because what we're gonna do is just basically force it. Um, <laughs> like since this armor is just gonna be for the player, we're gonna force it on. We're gonna force the entity. Um, we're gonna cast entity player on entity living. You you don't have to do this. You can actually check. You can check. Oh, is player an instance of entity player? Okay, it is. Then do the rest. But we're not going to do that. Well, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to. And this is just going to be for my character, not for the stupid mobs, right? I don't want that. Okay, so delete all this. I just don't like that extra space. Actually, I do. But if, if you really wanted to, you could do this. Um, If player instance of entity player, right? Or, sorry, if... What am I saying? If entity living is an instance of entity player then you do the rest all right and then you can and then you can follow you could follow up with this and then do the, whatever you want to do but I'm not going to do that I'm going to just keep it like how I said I was delete this okay so one thing we need to do we need to get the held item the held item of the player and how do we do that well let's get it right now so item stack held item and entity living base entity living and this is general um we could what we could do is since we're just making it the player Right, we can just take player dot get equipment slot, and we're gonna get the held item. So we're just gonna leave that at zero. We could use get current item, but I like doing it this way. This is just just how I like to do it. Okay, and this will get the held item. And now, what we do instantly here, if that held item, if there is a held item. Instantly, we want this armor, um, armor on a dot held item, right? We want that equal to one, right? We want it to rotate a little bit up, okay? And that's it, that's all I wanted to do. Now we're checking the use. We have to check well is this use greater than zero the count like there needs to be a use and while the player is using the item you can actually use this to see the count but if it's not if the player is not using the item then you can't see it that's the idea it, it'll be automatically zero if you're not using the item is what I'm saying or what I what I um, understood from reading the source code so here if the if the item is basically if it's being used right if you're clicking it with something then we're gonna check what it's doing so there's a um there's a class for this kind of stuff 
so what is the item doing? This is what it is. Right? In um action. This is just what the item is doing. If this in um action oh my goodness, can't type is equal to enum action dot bow. So if you're holding the bow, well then armor model dot aim bow is equal to what? You guessed it true. Okay. Next. Else if the enum action is equal to So if you're blocking, right? And remember, you can only be blocking if you're using the item, right? So if we, for example, if we didn't have this here, this would this would like just work normally. But um, these two wouldn't work because it'll only think, okay, it's holding the bow, so instantly it's using the bow. All right, it's holding the sword, so it's instantly using the sword. No, we have to check if it's there's an actual use to it. So. That's at least my understanding of it. Done. Oops. And now we should have everything fixed. Everything. Let's check this guy. Let's check this guy out. And I, sh I should sleep soon because I have work tomorrow. Oh. Oh, goodness. Oh, good. Whatever. It starts at 9. I can wake up a little bit later now that I know. Waiting for this to start. All right. How long is this tutorial? Oh, 17 minutes. All these are so long. See how long armor takes to make? Honestly, when you do this on your own, it'll take. I think it'll take you like at most if it's your first time two hours but yeah okay let's go in this should work now this should work and remember about the rotation factors okay that's the most important part and that's the understanding of it. so let's get out of here let's check look our armor is rotating perfectly let's check this oh, armor's rotating block it's rotating look 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 let's use a bow Oh my goodness. It works perfectly. Oh my goodness. How amazing is this? Boom. Boom. Shoot me. Oh my god, let's 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 kill some animals. Oh my goodness. Let's be a meanie. Oh Oh baby. Look how sexy we look. Holy shit. Look how, s oh my goodness, how sick do we look with this freaking, oh my god, let's just ram into shit. Oh my goodness, boom, boom, what's up sheep, yo. Let's, oh, right in the face. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Now you know how to make armor, and I, I can know how to do everything with it, right? You can fix it up for yourself. You can change the sizes of stuff. All right, and now also I want to prove something that this is not if it's three, if it's four. This is a rotation, okay? So for example, let's make this five, right? You will see how high this arm will go when we make it five. It'll go very high, is what I'm saying. I was gonna do something else, but I forgot. Mm. Um, let's run it in. In debug mode, hopefully, and if if I remember, all oh yeah, right. So, right here, model class. While this starts up, I'll explain what each of these things do, so you can work around it yourself, and you can figure out what it does. And I'll tell you what's. Oh my god, this is the weirdest thing right here. This set rotation, it's so weird. Um, I'll tell you why in a second because I'm so confused by it. It's like, why? <laughs> Um, I understand sometimes um, the conversions, but for this, I don't, I don't see why. And I'll, I'll just once this starts up, I'll, I'll explain um, all this, and maybe if you need to fix other stuff, you can do it yourself. Hopefully, um, I, 
all the problems you've had with your uh, game, uh, with your armor, have been fixed. Alright, so let's go here to select our sword. Look at this. Okay, we're gonna block. Ready for this? Look. See how it like it looks like we kind of broke our arm? That's the rotation factor. All right. So let's see if this works now. Let's go into our uh, here and let's change this to seven and see if this works because I, I ran it on debug mode, right? So let's see. Oh, it does. Look at that. See how it rotates even more? This is a rotation factor. I just want you guys to remember that just in case you need to use this for anything else. This is a rotation factor. This is how much you're timesing that little tiny increment. And that little tiny increment is how you're holding the sword. You see how it's slightly pushed up? That's the increment we're talking about. And when it's defending, it's at 3. It's times 3. The increment times 3. That's what I want you guys to really get from this. So you understand why this is 3 and why this is 1. Okay? So let's go here. So this just adds the model. You don't have to worry about this. Nothing. This is just adding a new model um, base. Okay, it's basically nothing. It, you don't have to really worry about this, these numbers here. This is where the texture is located, these two numbers. And this is what it's attached to. All right, remember we set the texture to 38 and then 0, and then we set this one to 33 and 0, and etc., etc., right? This is, this is the texture offset right here. And this is what we're attached to. This is the model we're attached to, which is model backpack or this one, custom model. Okay? This box, add box, is that what I was talking about. This this is what Tekken is doing. It's being like, okay, added a box. How much is this is the this here is the um offset? Sorry, uh sorry, this here, yeah, this here is the offset from the rotation point. And this here is the dimensions. All right, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. So if you want to move it around here instead of Technet, you can just change these around. All right, this here is the dimensions, and this here is the scale factor. Scaling it by one is like scaling it by two, right? It starts at it starts at one and it goes up from there. So scaling it by two is actually scaling it, I think, by three if I'm correct it starts out it, I think two is scaling it um by one two scales it by two units so zero is like you know right on your face one is one unit away from the face one pixel in Minecraft the pixel two is two units away that's what expand is um and that's what we used here how many away from our face you can think of it like that. This is how many pixels it expands by. You can think of it like that. And you can, obviously, you can make like half a pixel because we're not really expanding pixels. We're expanding the, the size of the box. All right. Rotation point. We don't need to worry about this. Keep this at 0, 0, 0 for all of these because the parent will handle it after that. Of course, if you want to have your own um, extra piece, you can you you have to work with the rotation point, but I wouldn't worry about it if you're starting off. All right. I don't know why this sets it to thirty-two, um, but this doesn't do anything because clearly um, we set the texture to sixty-four by sixty-four. So this should be 64 by 64, but it doesn't matter because obviously you see it turned out fine. This this isn't this is second to this, essentially. Mirror, this is talking about the texture. So how it should I think it's how it looks on both sides. I think you you would have to play around with these two. I'm not too sure on what they do. I'm not sure if this matters. I think it's second to this, and this mirror I think is also has to do with the texture. All right, this rotation set rotation is what um, we're doing down here, X, Y, and Z. Now, if you want to see in more detail how 
um, Minecraft rotate stuff, you need to look at this yourself. Um, it uses uh, a, a, a weird um, formula because look, right now it's taking radians, right? I understand radians are the better um, unit of measurement for degrees, right? Because it's absolute. But if we look at the model, um, if we if we look at the at the model um, model render class, and we look at what happens to these angles, it actually takes these radians and converts them to degrees. It takes this and converts it to degrees. Like, why does it do that? Why don't you just have degrees here? What's the point of making this radian if you're gonna just convert it to degrees? You know what I mean? You might as well just leave this as degrees because everyone uses degrees. You know what I'm saying? I do agree that radians are the better way of measuring degrees. I mean, <laughs> of measuring um, angles. But if it's already using, if you're rotating using um, uh, degrees, then why the hell are we freaking putting radians here? That's my question. Um, someone, I, it's, I, it's not a big deal to me. I'm just asking. Um, if anybody knows the answer, just put put it down under threads or in the comments. So here you just set the rotation of the X, Y, and Z. You can play around with these, see how they work for you. Same with all these, you play around with them. For these classes, look, this is the model render class. If you want to see how everything works, look, we imported model render. Here it is. You look for this in your source, which is right here. Reference libraries, forge source. And you just look it through here. I'll just look at it quickly for you. Um, model, client model. So right here. Model biped. Here's what we're using. Where's the model render? Right here. Okay. Easy. You look at that. You read through it. It has comments and stuff. You'll, you'll get it. All right. So that is it for this tutorial. Everything's working nicely. You see the sword rotates. Let's go to this. Everything works. Um, let's quickly find a horse. There are the horses. Hey, let's get some horses, and you'll see that everything works. Uh, where, the, where, where were the horses? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm lagging because my um, I, ha I don't have very much memory on the computer, so running the screen recorder and Minecraft is kind of killing it. So let's go here. Riding the horse. You see the legs bend and all that kind of stuff uh, let's just you see it works fine works nicely right all right so um sneaking works perfectly look I'll even we'll even go here and I'll just moving that to my other screen we'll even go here and I'll show you how it looks like um, without it so let's take this off sneak off Let's see how it looks. Look, you see how it kind of goes through? It's because the armor is not changing. So, yeah, that's what sneak is for. Want to see how it looks like riding? Well, let's see. So, sneak. Um, let's go here. Actually, riding doesn't do anything. Jeez, you can just keep it how it is. <laughs> or did they save? Yeah, I did. Looks like um. The writing doesn't do anything from at least what I from I can tell, but I thought it did something and that's why I had it in there. I, I I don't test my models out much. As you can tell, I'm mostly into uh just making cool stuff. Okay. Uh oh my god, we look so cool. Look how cool we look. Jeez. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> just realized. <laughs> oh my god. I wasn't showing you guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna play around for a bit. Um, and yeah, so that's our model. Any questions, leave them in the, in the comments below. I'll try to answer them. I'm not the best at Minecraft modding, so I may not be the best to ask, but if you have any questions, don't hesitate. I'll do my best. If I don't know, well, what can I say? I don't know. Um, you can also post on the thread. I will answer there as well, or I'll try to keep up with it. But yeah, that's about it, guys spent 30 minutes talking about how to fix your shit so yeah have a good day i hope you got the the armor you wanted i hope i fixed everything you wanted to fix 
And yeah. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.